Are you sick of your Pokeballs not working? Me too. So today we are unboxing one of 5,000 Master Ball replicas from the Wand Company. Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. Like I said, here we go with this Master Ball replica from the Wand Company. This box is super cool. Let's take it down to our hand camera. Let's get a closer look at some of this. So a little bit too tall for the setup here, but you can kind of see we've got this imprint uh, of the Pokeball design, black on black, love seeing that. Uh, there's a bunch of information back there. There's a preview of what the Master Ball case looks like, but you know, we're not necessarily here to just take a look at the box, but they did do a good job with the box. Let's actually just crack it open. Let's take a look at this Master Ball and see what it is able to do. All right, we got everything out of the box. Uh, the Master Ball itself is actually pretty heavy, but first I guess we're gonna start with uh, the little booklets here. It kinda teaches us how to do things. Gonna have to actually rip that open. All right, so there we go, two pamphlets there. Uh, the Wand Company slash Pokeball. Uh, all right, there we go. A Pokeball is the hallmark of aspiring trainers everywhere. In the Pokemon world, this remarkable device is an essential part of trainers' equipment, functioning both as a means with which to catch a Pokemon and as a place for it to reside in comfort when not helping its trainer on their adventures. There you go, kind of uh, some instructions, you gotta pull that tab, open it. Looks like depending on uh, which way you tap, it's gonna change uh, the brightness or it'll change the color. Pretty straightforward, all images, I could probably work with that, not too bad. Then here we have this uh, little card, uh, Master Ball. Your Master Ball is uniquely numbered and one of only 5,000. There you go, it's a nice little uh, certificate there, guaranteeing its authenticity, signed. But, time to jump into this Master Ball. So, here is the stand right there. Honestly, a little flimsy. I think that could be stronger. Uh, the hinges on there look fine, but yeah, just definitely, definitely could be better. Let's pull this little tab out. Make sure we have power to the stand. There you go. Very cool. We got like this uh, like wave effect going on, just cycling through. So we're supposed to be able to just tap the front, the red, uh, yellow, blue. And you can see the colors, but yeah, taps right through all of them. That's actually pretty good. Maybe press and hold. There you go. Turns it off. So pretty simple. So it does look like there's only one brightness effect. It's uh, on or off, and then it just changes colors. So, pretty responsive though. Literally, as I say that, it stops working. There we go. And let's grab the Master Ball. This seriously probably weighs like, I'm gonna say like two pounds. Maybe like one, I don't know. The, you could definitely get a little bit of a workout with this thing. Pull that out. And uh, the quality though, this feels very solid. Well, these, uh, these like pinkish magenta parts, I don't know if you can hear that. Hello to microphone. That's kind of weird. Just wouldn't have uh, assumed that those would be separate pieces. But let's tap the front. It's an actual button. So once we press and hold that, it turns on, and uh, it's actually responding to touch. So it actually can sense, like as I get close. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> but as I get closer and closer. It goes to full brightness. That's actually pretty rad that it can sense like how far away my hand is. Look at that. Oh man, I'm gonna do that for a while. I'm gonna be tripping out for a while. <laughs> uh, but super cool. There you go. So a quick double press on the front. Changes the color to red. Yeah, the technology. I don't know what, I don't know. There we go. Double press and we change that to green. Full green. Uh, Oh man, change that to, a, what's the next color? White. We got green. White. The controls on this aren't necessarily uh, that intuitive, I suppose. I mean, it's only one button. I'm gonna have to fiddle with this quite a bit more, but 
I think the build quality on this thing is super nice, but let's uh, put it over on to the stand here. So far, no real interactivity, but let's turn on the stand. There we go. Now it's like if we, if we caught a legendary Pokemon, an electric type with our Master Ball. Maybe we caught ourselves like a Zekrom or a Zeraora. But now it's blue. Maybe we got a Kyogre. I don't know. So pretty simple. I don't know exactly what I was expecting. But it's kind of fun to mess around with. It may, it'll, it'll make a good display piece maybe, like over there on my shelves. I think uh, we could probably work something out here where we have uh, some, just some colors going on in the background. And we gotta double check, what number did we get? So here on the bottom, looks like we got number 4662. So we barely snuck it in. Uh, <laughs> I wanna know who got number one and I wanna know who got the uh, number 5000. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be, I was kinda hoping for a better number, but 4662, you know, I guess it's not terrible. So there you have it. There is the Master Ball replica from the Wand Company. Pretty cool technology in here. Also, like, kind of simple, kind of cool. I'm happy to have it as a part of my collection, especially where there's just only 5,000 that were made. They're coming out with a lot of limited edition stuff right now. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your questions down in the comments. Make sure you are subscribed to catch all of the videos. Stay tuned for more openings. Take care of each other out there, and I'm going to see you very soon on the next one.